Hi, I'm Jimmy Hodges, Division Chief of Support Services for the Indianapolis Fire Department, and I'm here to show you our new Enforcer engine. This is one of 12 new engines in our fleet. We're really happy about it. It's our new paint scheme, the gray over red. We hope that stands out in the fire service. Um, yeah, really, really excited about that. Uh, we went to a flat cab design on this force Enforcer engine. Uh, that's to give the driver, when he's pumping, a better visibility over the fire ground. We think it improves safety. Um, also gives us a lower profile. We have some lower bridges in town, things like that. Uh, the TAC4 front suspension, that's a torsion bar front suspension. We've had torsion bar suspension in our fleet since 1962. That's a highly proven system. Uh, one of those trucks, for a fact, is still on the road today. But Oshkosh developed that torsion bar suspension for the military to handle their off-road environment. We face some of those same issues on the road in these cities that freeze thaw cycles. Our road's getting in bad shape and the big wide tire with that suspension is definitely going to hold the road better than what we've had in the past. In the cab, that's the MX-13 Packard engine, 510 horsepower coupled to an Allison 4000 series transmission. That's a six speed overdrive automatic transmission. We do have the Haas alert system. Alerts drivers using the Waze app of an approaching emergency vehicle. Also lets them know that there's a scene up ahead if the vehicle's parked. Uh, high vis lighting, brow lights under the light bar there. We've gone away from the spotlights that have moving parts and gone to those brow lights to try and view the addresses, view the scenes. That's a lifetime warranty on those. We're really hoping to get great success there. In the cab, we have the Task Force Tips Crew Protect System. Cleans the air in the cab at all times when the battery's turned on. You'll also see the ability to check all fluid levels without tilting the cab. The pump is a 2,000 gallon a minute water as two-stage pump. It's got the discharge relief valve with manual throttle control. We don't have a pressure governor on this truck. We like to stick with the systems just like the torsion bar suspension that's tried and true and we know it works. Two options on cross lays. We have an inch and three quarter line. We also have two and a half inch line that's set up as a yard lay. Set up to go off the other side, but you can know you can pull it off either side. In the compartments, we don't have any painted surfaces. Everything is either DA sanded or bare aluminum. These tool boards and moving shelves give the captain the ability to rearrange some of their equipment the way they want it. We don't allow our captains to drill holes or do any alteration to the truck other than moving on the tool boards and moving the shelves the way that's designed to allow that flexibility. The engineer also has the ability to drain the air tanks without getting under the truck. We expect a lot more compliance with that easier system. Nobody has to crawl under the truck to drain the air tanks. We have a pull-out shelf in the back. Makes some equipment much more accessible. Again, DA sanding, flexible height depending on what you want to mount there. Two attack lines off the back, each are 200 foot. We have our traditional inch and three quarter line, but then we also have a two and a quarter inch line with a two and a half inch coupling. That two and a quarter inch line, we lose 15 gallons a minute while gaining a significant amount of maneuverability on the fire ground. We think that 15 gallons a minute is a small sacrifice to make to be able to get water on the fire quicker and then move throughout the building much quicker to get the water exactly where it's needed. The hose bed's set up with a thousand feet of five inch hose and 1200 feet of three inch hose. That three inch hose can be broken right here at the coupling. We can lay duals uh, 600 feet each. Uh, we can carry up to 1200 feet of five inch, but today it's loaded with a thousand. We have a traditional complement of ground ladders that you'll find on any engine. The 10 foot attic ladder, two sizes of New York style hooks, and the 24 and 14 foot ground ladders are on an electronic rack that comes down so short guys like myself don't have a problem reaching those. There's no way I could pull that thing in a hurry. 
This here is set up for our high-rise hose packs. It's a pull-out tray to be able to load those on your shoulder real easy and go to work. High side compartments, above our complement of extinguishers, traditional air bottles in the other compartment. This is our large diameter discharge. It's the only one on the truck, but if we have to pump five inch, we can pump five inch through a four inch discharge that then goes into five inch. So we can feed an aerial at a pretty good rate. This side, you can see the nozzles better. So there's our inch and three quarter set up as an attack line and our two and a half inch line set up for a yard lay in case we want to extend that attack line. Up in the officer's seat, we have mounted our MDT so uh, communication with dispatch by touching the buttons, not getting on the radio every time. Knoxbox key secure system. The front of the engine has a 26 inch extended front bumper. We carry a hundred foot as a attack line that we would use on trash fires, car fires, things of that nature. And then a pre-connected 25 foot roll of, in, of supply line that's five inch. Thanks for watching my little tour. I would talk all day about fire trucks, but I think I hit the high points. Again, this is one of 12 engines. We also have eight ladders on the same order. This is the biggest apparatus order we've ever placed, and today's the day it's here. Yeah. <laughs>